How are you doing today? Today I'm going to be reviewing Bessem Store. Ugh, I cannot speak. Sorry. Bessem Stang and Sword by Christopher Oropello and Tara Love McGuire. Have you read this particular book? If you have, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. If you're liking this series, be sure to like the video. Give it a thumbs up. It really does help and I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe so you don't miss my next review. All right, now let's get into the book. Bessem Storm, I keep wanting to mix up those words. Bessem, Stang, and Sword <laughs> presents a tradition of witchcraft called Black Tree. It was created by the book's authors, Christopher Oropello and Tara Love McGuire. It's a tradition promoting personal sovereignty incorporating land spirits to the uh, local to their region and ancestor work as focal points in the practice. This grimoire provides the groundwork for the reader to create their own black tree practice, bearing in mind to make a connection to the land spirits and folklore local to the reader's region. And I say grimoire because that's exactly what this is. This book provides the system and accompanying rituals that make up this tradition. I didn't realize this when I first selected it a while back for reading. The realization hit me and I was amazed at how brave they were to share this information with the overall community. Most of the time, everything is so closed off. Now, you may have run across other books like this in the past, but at the time that I read this, it was the first traditional witchcraft book that I had come across doing this. And I it opened so many ideas for myself. The rituals and rites in here uh, have resonance and they are well thought out. The authors provide their explanations uh, for why they chose the symbolism they use in the tradition and encourage the reader to develop their own tradition as well if one of the you know elements in this particular one doesn't suit them. In respect to the shamanistic approach uh, to their hedge work, the authors provide relatable experiences for the different states of trance so that even the most inexperienced practitioner will understand them and have a better chance at achieving them. They do a very good job of explaining the differences between traditional and more ceremonial based systems of witchcraft. So those that are looking for something beyond the current plethora of self-help style witchcraft books available will greatly appreciate this substantial read, even if in the end they decide not to follow this particular tradition. I hope this helps you in your decision on whether to read this book or not. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. The reviews in this series are my opinion only. I was not compensated for these books. I purchased them with my own funds. Happy reading.